Dave Snyder here. It is August the 29th, 2012, and it is, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's, it's early in the morning, about 10 o'clock or 9, 9.30 or something. Anyways, really good overlay here. I mean, this I've been trying to show people this for a while now. The moon, hit, the, the moon has hit the Earth multiple times, and I mean, there's, the evidence is everywhere on the Earth. I mean, it's, and on the moon, too. I mean, it's really, well, all you really have to do is, is reverse the moon image uh, that you're going to use of, of whatever crater you want to use. It doesn't matter what crater you use because it's all hit the Earth before. Basically, any of the major ones on the moon have hit the Earth, and that's why the moon looks the way it does because it hits the Earth. And I got this picture yesterday. I saved it off of, uh, this is Antarctica. This is the weather patterns around Antarctica yesterday. I mean, they're probably pretty much the same today, but it doesn't really matter. I just got this overlaid here uh, over in the Pacific. I, I can't do an overlay in, uh, at the poles. I can't overlay a picture at the poles because it, what happens is it squeezes the picture. So this is, a, here it is. Let's just turn on the weather patterns and take a look at it today. This is what it looks like today. Okay. And this weather pattern is, will always fit the Mare Oriental basin impact on the moon. You have to multiply it by three times the size every time because the moon it has to be bigger. And if you think NASA would tell you the true size or anybody would tell you the true size, they must all work together because they don't tell you the true size. Because every time I fit it on the earth, which is in, in absolute exact locations, pretty much the weather patterns prove it, that it always fits it, three, times, three times the size they tell us. I use the Mare Oriental Crater all the time now. I mean, I've used all of them, but I've, I, and I've placed all of them. But this is what I'm going to show you today. Let me just turn the weather off here again and go back to the, I, I see, so I, I, what I did is I saved that picture and I took and up to the Pacific and I overlaid it here, which is like my, my canvas right here. I could use this, this area of, of the earth because it doesn't squeeze the picture. It just overlays perfectly. So that's what I did. <clears throat> there it is. Save that image. There's Antarctica. There's the South Pole, right? Okay, so what I did is I just looked at it for a minute, took the Mare Oriental picture, snapped it down, and then I adjusted it to fit. Let's just go through it here. Okay. See this area here? Right here. Pay attention to this area and, and all around this spot here. Just take a look. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. This is a print. You can see it dip down. You'll see it dip down and everything right there. Look at that. It dips down. Okay, comes back up, and then you can see it curve around. Then and you see all. Look at this. Look at this U shape right here. See this like a U shape. All right. See the same U shape right here. You can go up here, and even this crater, you can see in the weather. You can see it in the weather. Watch. See, you can barely see it, but look at that. Look at that right there. See that circle? There's a circle in the clouds right there from that crater right there. Right there. Okay, and, and everything else is there as well. I mean, you, if we got, it's hard to see it. I'll try to go slow, but it's really... See this curve here? See the curve there? Right there on the moon? And you see the same type of curve right there. It's, it'll all do this all the way around the whole picture. So, I'm like I said, it hits the poles. Antarctica has been directly hit. I pointed it out before. Many times here's the here's this opening right here in the land where it kind of looks like this. Let's take a look at that. That's see see the same thing here. See how the the, the crater kind of opens up and, and comes out the side right here. That's the same thing right there. And I've also overlaid. I mean you can see all this all these shapes around the outside too, and rings and everything. This goes here. This is this is an absolute perfect fit. There's no way that you can get around that. That goes. Look at that right there. That edge. Look at the edge. And then look at it dip down where that crater is. See that crater right next to it? Look at that. Dip down. Okay. And see the roundness of the outside round shape of this crater here uh, around the edge of Antarctica there? See it kicks out a little bit. Okay. Now check this out. I, I put down the rock structure as well. <clears throat> and it's the rock structure shows. I mean, you can see everything in the rock structure. This is Antarctica rock structure. Reverse, or not reverse, but the moon crater is reversed. Okay, but this is the Antarctica rock structure right here. Look at this. Look at this curve. Look at this curve right here. All right, just take a look at that. Look at that fit right into that curve. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can see it go up here. But then take a look at this crater right here. This. Look at this on the moon right here. 
this one, the oval crater, that that's, leaves its mark everywhere on the Earth, all over. But let's just take a look at that up close. See it right there? Right there. Okay? I mean, this goes here. Look at the rest. Let's just take a look at the rest of it. I mean, it, it goes here. The moon is hit right here, definitely. There's no way around it. If this, like I said, if these moon images are, look at it, look at the way this curves around, or look at the same thing on the moon. Right there. Right there. See, I was a little off on my other alignment. I had it, I had the, the tail, this, I call this the fish. It looks like a fish right here, a fish tail, and it looks like a fish right here. Okay, I had the tail over just a little bit more this way, and I guess I, ha I was off a little bit. I think that's more like it right here, probably. It looks a little bit better aligned, and I had these two cr this crater and this crater were off a little bit, it looks like, before. But now it's now it's perfect. It is perfect. That goes there, people. No way around it. Here's the crater up here too. You can see this one too. See the big circle? You can see the circle right here. It's right there. Or right here, this one. Yep, it's that one right there. Right there. You see the center of it? See the dimple in the center? Right there. That, so that one, that part's off a little bit. But that's, I mean, that's where it goes. It goes right there. You see I'm in the right place. It goes here. That's a direct hit. Look at, look at all this fit right here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, I forgot this one right here, too. Look at this right here. Look at this. Look at that fit. Look at this little cove that comes in. You can see the cut that cuts that. You can see that little curve that cuts that. And then you see the crater right here. I mean, look, it's it's a direct hit on the South Pole. Look at this circle here. This circle right here goes right around that big thing right there. I mean, you can see, there's, it's hard to see a, see the circle. There it is. Watch. Look at that. And then you see the one above it right there, that clearing right there. That's the same thing. So, you know, that's why they're in it. Look at this stuff. Look at this right here. Look at the shape of everything. It goes there. Look at this. I mean, don't go real slow and you just take a look at it as I go real slow. Look at, you see this crater here? Watch. It is all there. So that proves the moon's hit the Earth, and the moon's bigger than they say. If it don't, if it doesn't prove it, then I don't, I don't know what does. But Green, you can also go to Greenland and do the same thing, because Greenland is it hits the poles. I'm telling you right now, the moon, on some type of cycle, when the poles reverse on the Earth or something, the the moon hits the Earth. It, and it's done it. All the craters you see on the moon are from the, hitting the Earth, not little asteroids or meteors hitting the moon that create little craters. They're from mountains on the Earth hitting the hitting the moon. Basically, the moon hitting the Earth, the mountains creating the craters. And I'm sure some of them are are craters from things, the stuff raining back down onto the moon. I'm sure it is. But the big ones that you see on the moon, the ones that we see when the moon's full or whenever, any of those big dark areas are from impacts on the Earth. Absolutely guaranteed. Guaranteed. No way around it. The moon's way bigger than they say it is, and I mean, how can how can you measure it? You have to accept their measurements because you can't measure it yourself accurately. There's no way unless you know the distance, or if you know unless you know the size, you, and if you don't know either one, which none of us do, I mean, you can you can't get an accurate measurement. There's no way, there is no way to get an accurate measurement. You might be able to get an estimate, like you know a, a, a nice a good guess, but you're not going to be able to get an exact measurement. I don't, you know, I don't see how you could, you could, you could get close, I'm sure you could, but we need to measure that, we need to find a way to measure it, somehow, somebody does, I, I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm trying, because the moon's going to be full here in the next, the day after tomorrow, I do believe, or tonight, and I'm going to, I got to measure it somehow, because I do believe it's this size, <clears throat> this crater is the Mare Oriental Crater right here, and it's not that big on the moon as I'm showing you on the earth, I mean, that's, that's 3,500 miles across right there. That's way bigger than the moon is. Just that crater. Than they say the moon is. So, I got We got to check that out. I got to check it out. Something. But this is the Greenland. Another right in the center impact on the pole. So it's got to be a magnetic cycle. Some type of magnetism that draws it because it hits the poles. It absolutely hits. The, this Greenland is a direct center impact, just like Antarctica is. Direct center. You can put, 
put Greenman right in the center of Mare Oriental as well. Mare Oriental used to hit the Earth a lot. Uh, every crater on the moon's hit the Earth, like I said. There's, a, there's an impact right here. It goes right here. You can see the impact. You can see it. They're all over the Earth. I know it's, you know, most people just don't want to know, I guess, or something. They just would rather be lied to. I, if that's what you want, that's fine with me. Be, you know, if you want to accept the lies that they give us, then go ahead. But I, I think the true science needs to be told because, look, it's a trickle-down scientific lie. I mean, it, it trickles all the way down to everything in science about the Earth. Everything is, everything is created by, they say, plate tectonics and this and that and the other thing. It's not. It's created by impacts that, that create the plates, that create everything. The impacts are what shape. Look at this big circle. That's an impact. <clears throat> That's an impact. All this has been impacted. All of it. Big impact over here. They were all; these were all at the north or south pole one time. All these areas that are where these big circles are. This used to be the north or south pole. This used to be the north or south pole. Then after that, okay. This used to be at the north pole or south pole. Same with this one, okay. Same with the, same with this right here. It used to be north or south pole at one time, all right. That's what that's from my that's what I get from my research, and it shows that the moon. I mean, you, if you can't see what I'm just what I just showed you. With that overlay, you have to try it yourself. If you're a scientist and you think you know about the moon and you don't know this, then you need to get you need to get off your ass and check this out. I'm not kidding. I mean, look look at the, look at this. Look at the Mexico right here. See this see this curve right here. What do you think creates that curve? <clears throat> That's an edge of an impact by some one of these one of one of the craters on the moon. I mean, Mare Oriental shapes shapes all of the the, the world. Shapes every continent. Mare Oriental does. Okay, but then other ones have hit, or maybe they used to hit before Mare Oriental. I don't know, but they shape the other craters like Tycho. It has an out, has an inside shape just like Mare Oriental. If you take a close look at it, you can put Tycho right inside of it, and it'll fit perfectly, just like all the other ones too. They all fit inside Mare Oriental. It is the it is the the creator and the destroyer of the Earth. The dinosaurs are buried by the moon impacts. Everything. It's, it just makes sense. It, it makes they fit perfectly, and it just makes perfect sense. The moon is so close to the Earth, you can't get around that. I mean, it, it's got a, it's got a, a power that control pulls our tides. Okay, well, it doesn't just pull the tides. It's just because it's only because it's water that you see the tides move. But it, it pulls everything. It's pulling everything, not just the water. It all gets pulled. So it's got a force already that, that strengthens when the poles reverse. It's being repelled all all, all of our lifetimes. It's been being repelled. By the by the by the Earth because the poles are alike, okay. Opposite poles attract. That's what happens when the poles reverse on the Earth. The Moon hits the Earth. And I'm not trying to say it because I'm trying to put doom and gloom out there. I'm trying to say it because the science needs to change. The science is wrong. It's lot. It's a lot of lies, and 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 I do believe it needs to change. I mean, I don't want to be lied to about anything, especially, you know, how things were created on this planet and. You know, pe people know about it. Japanese, know, I mean, these Japanese know. They all know. Everybody knows over here in, in, in the Orient. They all know about the moon. They're not, they're, they don't, you know, they don't tell tell each other or tell people there, but they know over there. They don't over here. We just believe whatever we're told. You know what I mean? Just whatever they feed us, we're supposed to just take it and, and believe it's true. But <clears throat> it's the furthest thing from the truth. It is the furthest thing from the truth. What they tell us, you know, I'm I'm telling you right now, you you need to look into it if you really want to know. Do the overlays. You can watch my other videos. You'll see. I mean, I got some really good overlays, and the weather patterns prove it. I, I line it up on the land. It fits the land perfectly. Then I turn on the weather patterns, and the weather patterns prove it. They show it. Here, let's just turn on some weather right now. Okay, there's the hurricane that's going on right now. I mean, it, it, I I did an overlay on it yesterday, and you can see a little bit of what what shapes it. Let's just take a look. I got an overlay up here of North America that are really good ones. A couple of them. Okay, we take a look at this one first. Weather patterns. Sometimes they show it real well, but I mean, look at that. It's right there. And you can see the shape. I can see this shape. Look at right here. Let me get in there as close as I can. See how it kind of whips right through here? Look at that. Okay, here's another, and you can see that you can see that some of, some of the lines are in there. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to show you another one here. 
Look at this one. This one's really good. I showed, look at that, right over the top of that. Look at that. Look at that. And you can see the circular shape and everything. And I've showed this one in, in, a, in a video recently where this weather, where you got this weather pattern showing everything just lined up so perfectly. It's undeniable. Undeniable. You got to find out which, I don't remember which video it is, but it's, it is undeniable. This one right here. It is. Uh, the weather patterns that I lined up that day, I mean, I don't move these, these pictures of the craters. They stay in place, obviously. I leave them in place. When I get them set, they stay. And then I go back and check the weather patterns periodically. Okay, well, this one right here, when I first lined this one up, the weather patterns were just undeniable. You could not get around it. Every shape was right in place. And it, this still fits. It still fits, but you just got, it just don't fit as good as it did that day. That's all. But it still fits. Look at that. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to review it and check it out and upload it. All right, have a good day. Good night. See you later.